Tell me about this gun. We're gonna go ahead and, in case we see a squirrel. That gun, that's a 58 caliber smooth bore. A lot simpler of a designed gun than a rifle and also a lot quicker to load. Put that the wadding down. Get it down the barrel. Get a good tamp on it. Put it down the hatch. Close that up and it's ready to go. Gotcha. That one's ready to go. Well, we got us a fire going. Jade Rains, I found him up here. His family lives up here in the head of this holler. They've been up in, in here since 1742. They never came out, look at him. We're hearkening back to a different time. And I was thinking as I was standing down there in the woods, I was looking for you up there. And you know, even though you've got this outfit, which is period from that time, they had dyes and stuff. I was looking for you, couldn't find you. You know, if you stand still, it's amazing how, you know, quiet you can be. And, kind of get lost out there, but you know, I thought about how things must have been back in those times when you could just go. The land didn't belong to anybody but the United States. Nobody, a lot of this areas, nobody had staked their claim. It was wide open. Critters, Indians, God only knows what you might run into around the next corner. Period-wise, what, what, where are we looking at here? Most, most of the stuff that, that we are wearing is going to be typical to a frontiersman here in the 1770s, 1780s, 1770. you know, in, in that time frame. Believe it or not, you know, fashion was an important thing to certain people back then, but functionality mm -hmm. out here especially was, was really important. It was intended to, uh, you know, keep you warm. Let's talk about Paul down here cooking. What, what was cookware? Well, what did they actually have in cookware back in the day? Well, depending on the situation, um, you know, if you, were, if you were traveling, if you were out here, you're, you don't want to carry any more than what you, mm -hmm. what you need. You possibly were going to have your, your skillets and stuff. And if you were going to set up and camp long term, if you were going to trap, you know, there were a lot of, of people coming in here. Um, well, and Daniel Boone is a prime example. He spent the whole winter here in, in Floyd County. He would have packed more with him. Sure. Um, but if you were going to be out, you know, you needed to move. Um, you know, you were going to do a lot of traveling. You would have been, you know, bare essentials. And then I've got this. This is called a, a noggin, um, just a wood bowl, multi-purpose. It's a cup. It's a bowl, mm -hmm. whatever you need. Um, it's lightweight. I can put it on my belt. That's really all I need to pack with me. You know, we had every intention of killing a squirrel today, but I tell you what, it's really, really cold. I'd say they're laying up, probably watching cartoons right now. Yes. Yeah. They're just not out. So we're not going to have squirrel today, but I think Trinity brought some, brought some elk with him. I've heard tell of that. Yeah, again, the squirrels aren't moving today, so we have uh, our game today is a rotting log. Now Trinity's getting ready to shoot this 45 caliber. Jade's going to shoot this 32. Guys, it has been a fun day. It's been a little look back at history. Squirrels not cooperating. Um, I'm gonna show you one, one guy. I got one trick in my bag. You know, the camera's back in the 1760s. 
in the 70s and 80s weren't very good. But they were all sepia toned, they had lines running through them. Let me show you. There's a, there's a setting on this camera right here. Look at this right here. Now, now look. Wow. Check this out. Can you believe it? Look, look at here. That's pretty neat. That's awesome. Now yeah. we're legit. Wow. All right, now it's it. Now let's take a walk through the woods. Get, get a serious look on your face. I mean, you're real serious. Come on, Paul. Like you're scared. I'm always scared. <laughs> now let's take a walk in the woods and we're gonna look legit. 